Three. Here. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bold Talk by Joe. And uh, hopefully everybody's doing great. Back with another episode. So today I'm going to talk about the uh, Elon Musk Twitter thing. But before I start, I'm going to uh, let you guys know some stuff that's happening on the show. Some of you guys might have gotten an email. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because I didn't get a chance to email those my subscribers okay so for those that have just started listening to the show or are new to the show i used to have a uh, membership exclusive where you sign up and it was a guest or just a different kinds of conversations that i wouldn't have on a solo podcast and it was a dollar a month for the membership and i decided to to do away with it because um i'm switching things around and the reason why I couldn't let people know is because when you sign up for it, you have to opt in to get emails from me. But nobody, everybody opted out of the email. So I have no idea who is actually paying for the membership. So I would not know. So the only way is for me to do a podcast to talk about things like this. And so basically, I'm deci- I decided that I'm going to try to see if I can switch the, my platform. So nothing's going to change with the podcast. Podcast is going to be the same. This is just affects me just because I want to have a little bit more reach with another platform. And also, I want to see more numbers, more data that's going to help the show, right? I, um, so that's the reason why I decided to, to just cancel cancel the membership stuff and now those episodes are going to be free for everybody to watch okay and i do want to thank all the all my subscribers i want to thank you very much i really appreciate it if you still want to support the show it i will have something on the page where you can go on there and if you want to support the show you're more than welcome to if you want to support the show in a different way Please go to YouTube to uh, add Bull Talk by Joe on YouTube and and subscribe. And I put the same I put the same episodes up there. I do uh, shorts and I do a little, a little bit of blogging stuff like that on that on my YouTube channel. So I'm trying to get the YouTube channel going, trying to get it get it flowing. It's everything's fairly new. Okay, this YouTube stuff is about a, I don't know three months old or something like that. I can't remember. It's just fairly new. So I don't have a whole lot of followers. So I'm trying to get it going. It's really hard for people to hit the button and subscribe, like for real. It's it's difficult. It's the easiest thing to do, but it's the hardest thing to do uh, for somebody to actually like your stuff and then subscribe to it. So I'm trying to push for that. So I'm doing away with the with the subscription just in case I do happen to pick the other platform. I won't be able to, it'll be too hard to run and I have to transfer my show to that other platform. So it's just going to be impossible for me to get any of this stuff done. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why. Uh, there's a little, you know, a few changes that I that I do along the way that it's just the podcast is growing and uh, there's a, a few things that that I have to I have to change with it, right? As the show keeps getting bigger and I have to kind of change with it as I go. I did go through some numbers, actually, on the, on the platform that I'm at now, and I was super surprised at the amount of people that listen to the show and also in the countries that listen to the show. So in the United States, obviously, Arizona is very heavy. My show is based off, of in, based off here in Arizona. California is also very heavy. And then we have all the states. Um, it's, it, it's crazy. Like, the states bunch of people from different states listen to this show and also from Europe which I was super surprised Spain you have cities like Madrid and Valencia and I mean it's it's amazing you know France um what else it was Japan I mean like everywhere like just weird just I would have never I would never imagine that people will listen to this show in those countries in in, in uh in England Wales is one of the highest ones for 
for uh, viewers of the show. I mean, it's 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 incredible. So I want to thank everybody. If I'm sure I forgot a bunch of states and a bunch of countries, but I want to thank everybody, all my followers and all my listeners all across the world. And uh, I want to thank you very much. It's uh, thank you for all the support and thank you for for actually listening to my shit. It's pretty cool. Thank you. So that was basically the update that I'm doing. I am doing a couple little different things. As you can see, I switch everything around. I switch, I put lights in the back. I do this, I do that. And just trying to see what fits, you know what I mean? So I can keep it the same. I'm trying to see what what the reaction of my listeners are. It's like, hey, I don't like that stupid dog behind you. Switch it. I am having something else more. I'm changing the decor. So I'm going to have something else a little bit more of me. I'm a sports type guy. So that's going to be coming soon, something I can hang in the back that's going to look really cool. Other than that, the show must go on. That being said, today's episode is about Twitter and Elon Musk. There is a huge thing going on with Elon Musk and Twitter, and uh, people are going nuts about it. It's blowing up in the internet. It's blowing up all over the place. And uh, you know what? All I got to say is uh, I have a friend that that is uh, tells me that Elon is is stupid, right? Oh, he's you know he's stupid. He you know he's got Twitter, but he's not gonna be able to do anything with it, and blah blah blah. And it's like this is all I can say about this. Okay, I'm not a businessman. I'm not a, a millionaire. I don't know what these people do or or what their finances are like, but I'm gonna tell you one thing: Elon Musk is not going to buy something and lose money. If Elon Musk is buying something or bought something is because he already researched the hell out of it and he has a team and he already probably has numbers on how much he's going to make the first couple of years. If not, he wouldn't spend billions of dollars. It's that simple. Elon Musk is not going to buy Twitter for charity and just so everybody can have the freedom of speech or whatever you want to call it or to have other people that were canceled, you know, to bring them back like Donald Trump and all these people. It's not... It's not about that. It's about money. That's why he's going to this $8 a month so you can have your little check mark next to your to your name, right? To your to your profile picture. That means that you're basically being verified and you have a certain amount of followers and all kinds of different things, right? So it you're it the blue check mark means that you're legit, that you're basically not a bot, you're not some fake person, that you're a real you're you're a real human, right? Supposedly. That's what it's about. And the eight dollars is basically to kind of have authentic people and also get rid of the bots somehow, somewhat, right? And even then, he's still gonna win because if bots want to have that blue little check mark, then they're gonna have to pay the eight dollars. So he'll never lose, guys. He he's playing with house money, and the house never loses, never loses. He is super super smart, and if he bought this thing for forty billion dollars. He is going to double that. I am pretty sure. If not, he would have not bought it because he is smart. He is one of the richest men, one of the richest, one of the richest uh, people, one of the richest, richest person. Wow, man, I can't seem to talk today. One of the richest persons in the world, right? This guy knows business. This guy knows what to do. People think that Elon Musk just decided to go buy Twitter because he wanted everybody to have a word and blah, blah, blah. Maybe he did, right? Maybe he just wants people to talk and be freely about it without being canceled. But a lot of it is money. He's a businessman. He's a businessman first. It's about business. Okay, just imagine if everybody wants to have that little blue check mark and pay $8 a month. How much money is he going to generate from that plus how much money he's going to generate from ads and all that stuff that Twitter has, right? So it's business. It's all business. People are thinking that, oh, you know, he's this is dumb. People are leaving. People can leave all they want. But Twitter is going to explode and there's going to be more people coming in and paying for the $8 and paying for the stuff because he already planned this out. He already looked into it. I'm sure it took a long time for him to come to this decision And he had to put the numbers down and he doesn't want to take a loss. Why would he want to buy something and take a loss? That wouldn't make any sense whatsoever for a businessman like Elon Musk. I mean, you guys have to remember something. This guy sends rockets to the moon. Okay. This guy has a contract with NASA, with the government. 
He's this guy's cars. They're selling like hotcakes all over the place. This guy is changing technology, changing the world. Do you really think that he's just going to blow a bunch of money and not get anything of out of it? Of course not. Of course he's not going to do that. Of course he's going to make a lot of money off of this. It's part of the plan. It's part of the business. That is what people don't understand. It's like they don't they don't know anything about a business and they think that he's just doing this because he's Joe Rogan's friend and he's a right wing and he's ah, that. And it's not about that, guys. It's not about that. It's about how much money he can generate because he is a businessman, right? Money's always first when people like that, that's where they're so successful because they put the chips on the right, you know, at the right time and they, they do the moves, they do the big moves like playing chess and uh, they research everything and anything before he even does anything with that kind of money. And by the time he gets his ducks in a row, he, he pulls the trigger and this guy just becomes more richer, right? And that is what Elon Musk is doing. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, well, how the hell do you know? You don't know shit. Well, it does just, it's just common sense, guys. I mean, this, guy's, this guy is, uh, is successful. This guy is about making money and building an empire and, and, uh, and, and getting his business to thrive, right? So it's... It's super simple to see what he's actually doing. A lot of the stuff that he's promoting and and uh, you know you can say whatever you want on Twitter and this and that. It's 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 marketing. It's marketing. He's he's playing the game, the marketing game, and he's super involved in all his tweets and he's involved everywhere. Right? He's like tweeting. I don't even know if it's him or somebody else, but it seems like it's him. And he's he's maybe having somebody else tweet for him, but. He is super involved in the community, in the Twitter community, and that just brings people, right? And that upsets people. It pisses people off. And this guy's a piece of shit. I'm out of here. And blah, blah, blah. All these people are quitting Twitter, leaving Twitter. It's like, it's not going to make a difference. It's not going to make a difference because you know what? Twitter was free anyways. And now the peop- those people weren't paying anyway. So it's not going to affect them in any way. It's just going to get even bigger. So... There's a lot of supporters for Elon. Elon, in my my opinion, Elon doesn't really do anything bad. Elon doesn't. Elon is changing the world, changing you know with his views. Yeah, he might not make the cars, he might not make the rockets, but he is the founder of all. He's the one that's thinking of all this stuff and making it happen and hiring the correct people. Well, a lot of people don't understand when it comes to being a boss, being a manager. That I do know uh, a little bit about is you don't necessarily have to know everything. You don't have to be the rocket scientist. You don't have to be the the accountant. You don't have to be any of that. You don't have to be like a, a Superman. You need to delegate. You need to hire the right people to do the job for you. Why would he want to do that? That wouldn't make any sense. So he's obviously going to hire the correct people and the people that can get the job done. If you can't get the job done, then he fires you and he hires somebody else that can get the job done. That is what a real boss, what a real manager, what a real business owner does. And that's what he's doing. You know, people are like, well, he didn't invent the car. He didn't invent the rocket. See, of course not. Of course not. He's smart. He is hiring the people to get the job done for him. That, that is what a person with power, that is what a person that is smart does. Why would you want to do all of it yourself? You need help, right? You need experts. You can't know everything on the field on how to build a rocket, on how to build cars, on how to make you know, batteries and all this stuff. You need experts. So he hires the best of the best to work for him. And I'm sure he pays them really good money. Because if the product is good, then he makes millions and millions of dollars. That's the reason why Elon Musk bought Twitter. That's my opinion, of course. But to me, it's common sense. With that, guys, that's basically all I got to say about that. Um, I think that uh, Twitter's not going to go away. Twitter's just going to get bigger. It's just going to take time to adjust, right? And uh, like like I've been saying all this time on, on my episodes, it's like... We adjust, and then it becomes a norm. After all this stuff kind of goes away, it becomes a norm, and then we're back on Twitter. It's normal. This is the way. This is the way we work, right? So I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Uh, what do you guys think? If you 
guys have any questions or anything you guys want to talk or say about the episode, go ahead and you can uh, you can catch me on Twitter at Bold Talk by Joe. On my Instagram, everything's Bold Talk by Joe, guys. I think I say that a hundred million times. I hate doing this, but uh, go ahead and go to my YouTube, subscribe, uh, leave me some comments, whatever you want, guys. Until next time, peace.